Hello, good morning and welcome to New Forest Moors. It's Wednesday morning, Jared, and today it's all about our baby boys that are available. We've got one or two people that are showing an interest in wanting to get some breeder boys. So we thought we'd kickstart one of our babies from this year. And this guy is called Scribble. And uh, he's a lovely pastel possible gravel, we're not 100% certain. But pastel lesser, lesser clown boy and he might be carrying gravel. Not 100% certain, so that would need either a shed test or you'd need to breed him to see whether the gravel's in there. But he's lovely, isn't he, Jay? Just look at the patterns on him. And he's got a beautiful head stamp and one of our first clutches earlier in the year. And absolutely beautiful. Nearly 160 grams. Is he nearly 160 grams? He's just, 157. Um, see where he's coming in. And he's eating very well. He's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mils, and he's eating rat fluffs at the moment. So he is going to become available. And we've got one or two families coming down to visit the facility that are interested in picking up some breeder mills. So we thought we'd just make a video on our available breeder mills. Right, let's slip him back, Jared. And I think you've put a green tag on all the ones that are going to become available. Mm -hmm. So this one is a pastel yellow belly leopard and I believe he is pet for clown. Let's see what he weighs in at Jared. Get a nice picture of him. Isn't he beautiful? Let's see what the yellow belly does to the leopard. And I think it may have pastel as well Jared. He is pastel. So pastel yellow belly leopard pet clown boy. Mm -hmm possible orange dream because one of the parents was orange dream but whether he's carrying that orange dream we're not sure but there is a possibility there could be OD in there Jared 140 140 so he's a good size and very pretty boy and he's had how many mils has he had he's had eight mils and what weight was he Jared 140 140 all rat fluffs and he's eating rat fluffs and the reason why I think he might have orange dream is look at the blushing on the dorsal. There are some oranges in there. Now that could be pastel, pastel or yellow belly doing that. But there is a chance that he might be a yellow belly orange dream. So, and you can see the flaming underneath. That helps you pinpoint the yellow belly. And he's got a really wacky leopard pattern there. Just look how beautiful he is. Look at those crazy alien heads there. Look at that one. Isn't that beautiful, Jared? It's a skull. You got a skull. What's pattern. that one from? Is it He-Man? The villain from He-Man. The villain from He-Man. I can't remember, Jared. You have to, you have to tell me. <laughs> so there he is. So beautiful little boy, and he is available. He's got some nice bright colours to him, so he could be carrying the OD as well. But uh, we're, we're selling him as a yellow belly, possible orange dream. in this boy here he's a really really pretty boy he reminds me of his father Skip pastel gravel heck clown boy and he's had 10 mils let's see he's nice and chunky and let's see what he's weighing in at 152 152 so good size Jared now if we compared him with his father Skip you can just see the similarities between this boy and Skip. Oh, I'm not sure if Skip's going into shed, but you can see how they age. Yeah, he's, shed. he's going into shed. Yeah. He looks like that, just a bit bigger and a bit duller. Yeah. I think you can see the gravel impact on there because you can see all the gravelly look in the alien heads. It's got the gravel look to it to me. But very vibrant, very pretty. And it's got that pastel head stamp. So a beautiful animal, Jared and he feeds really well so he'd make a great addition to anyone's collection that wants to get into gravel clowns he's carrying that gravel and i say we, all our gravel clowns have come off skip we started off with a gravel heck clown pastel gravel heck clown so there you go you've got an opportunity to get into the 
and they're reasonably well priced as well so if anybody wants to make us an offer on any of these mails please feel free to do so either on Instagram or on Facebook uh, but we'll go through a few other mails as well so this one is also available to have this is our visual albino and I believe it is uh, possible hepoid I think there is a at least a 50% chance that that's carrying pied. But a beautiful example of an albino. And that's feeding really well. I'm guessing it's over 100, Jad. 129. 129, so beautiful animal. Let's just have a wee look at it. And there you can see the beautiful colors of the albino. So that will further your albino projects. So you've got a visual albino. And again, he'll be sensibly priced. We'll make us an offer. And I love their little red eye, Jared. Aren't they lovely? They're beautiful. So there we go. Put him back. And we'll bring out a few more. Now we have a visual clown boy that's going into shed, Jared that's available and uh, he's a baby from this year so he is going into shed so he's quite dark but you can see he's very chunky he's had uh, I think he's had about five mils and he's starting to get up there 132 132 so he's doing really well nice and chunky so he is going into a shed but you can see he's got a lovely stamp head stamp on him and again you'll get beautiful clowns from him and we'll just let him chill maybe give him a little bit more water to help him shed so that's 130 and we've also got a boy here that wants to eat I think he's really pretty so he is called Lester and he's uh, 18 months old. He's a pastel lesser possible gravel 100% hect clown. So he could be carrying the gravel. There he is. I think he's a beautiful animal. He's got lovely markings on his neck. And we can see exactly how much he weighs. He's almost ready to breed, isn't he, Jared? What would you say? Yeah, it's 5.50. 5.50, so he probably will be big enough to breed. I like them to have an extra two or 300 grams, but that wouldn't take long to get him up to size. And you can see there's beautiful patterns. Is he carrying lesser as well, Jared? Yeah, he's pastel lesser. Pastel lesser, gravel, possible gravel, 100% het for clown. And look at that crazy pattern on his tail, Jared. Isn't that lovely? Beautiful boy and he will be available right let's place him back okay now moving on to this side we've got some beautiful bananas here and we haven't sexed them but the father is a male maker, so we're pretty certain these are going to be available when they're boys. And you can see the two different styles of banana. That one's carrying pastel and I believe cinnamon. So that will be pastel, cinnamon, banana, banana het for G-stripe. And I'll show you the father to show you what the G-stripe looks like. But isn't that just a beautiful animal, Jared? Can you see all the genetics in him? It's lovely, isn't he lovely? And we will sex them, but we're pretty certain that these will be boys because they come from a male maker. And uh, we'll see how much he weighs. He's had three, four mils. So let's just see what he's weighing in at. 101. 101, so right on that edge there. We like all our snakes to be at least 100 grams before we make them available. But I think that's a really, really pretty snake, Chad. Isn't he beautiful? Mm -hmm. And this one's really beautiful as well. This is a banana 
pet cheese stripe boy. It's pastel. And it's got pastel as well, so it's just missing the cinnamon. Yeah, because the dab was a super pastel. Let's just see how much this one's weighing. I'm hoping it to be close to 100. 111. 111, so it's even bigger. So really doing well, Jared. There's the lovely colours on that. That's how beautiful the banana is. Can you see how pretty that is, Jared? Isn't that lovely? You can see the lovely tones in him. So we won't disturb them. We'll just put those back. And if you want, Chad, you can have a look at the father. Have a look at Giovanni. And then our... You can see what a banana, yeah, banana cheese stripe looks like. It's about to go to a shed, but... Is it going into a shed? They've got that dorsal stripe the whole way down. Nice buttery yellow. Next clutch, this is a, these are really beautiful and getting well established at the moment, Jared. We've got a pair of these boys and I think it would be nice to make them both available. Or we might even just make one of these available and keep one for ourselves because it's useful to have another stud boy. Now, these are getting very established, but this is the Yellow Belly Pied Het for Lavender Albino Male. And you can just see how pretty that is. Look how beautiful that is, Jared. You can see that the lavender albino really brightens up the yellow belly. And you can see the animal's really, really well established. It's had, it's eaten 15 mils. I'm expecting that to be about 150, maybe more. 213. 213. That's really lovely, Jared. Beautiful animal. It's got some lovely pattern on him as well. You can see the pattern on the back. Really, really beautiful. So one of these will be available. He's a male, and that will get Yellow Belly into your dream circles. So he is a potential dream school maker. And this is the other one, which is not quite as big, I think, but it's putting on good weight, very pretty. And we'll weigh that one up and look at the pattern on that one. I think that one's even prettier. 161. One six bigger. And that's had about 20 mils, I think. <laughs> it's got some nice patterns on it. Yeah, really it's very low white. Low white. So you've got two different varieties here. We'll probably keep one of them, Jared. Uh, but if anyone would like to make an offer on these, uh, please feel free to do so. Beautiful animals. There we go, Jared. That's lovely. So these ones are very well established. I'll just slip those back. to the next one, leopard, possible uh, cryptic, het cryptic, het DG, and definitely het clown. So this one's going to be made available, and uh, it's a beautiful animal, well established. And I say it could be carrying a triple het here. Is it going into shed? I think it is yeah. going into shed. But there you go. We won't weigh him dry, but he's got to be about 150. It's a leopard double hat, possible triple hat. Yeah, could be carrying the cryptic, but it's carrying the DG and it's carrying the clown. So that's a very powerful boy. And it's carrying the leopard as well. So that'll get leopard into your um, DG, clown. DG clown projects and possible Krypton projects as well. So not in his best at the moment, but he's obviously feeding well. He's had Again, about 16 mils, so he's very well established. Right, let's move on to the Mahadi. There's one underneath now. it that's got pastel in. We've got one in there that's got pastel. Yep, sorry, I didn't do that one. Again, this one is from the same clutch, clutch number two. It's probably going into shed as well. Oh, there you go. Same genetics, but with pastel added in. Pastel leopard. I reckon he's doing good size, Jared. What do you think? 186. 186. So pastel leopard, het for DG, het for clown, and possible het for cryptic. And nice and chunky. And again, he's had about 16 mils. So getting established. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to move on to the uh, Ultra Mouse that are Hefepide. And we've got a couple of these that will become available. You can see how pretty they are, Jared. And he wants to eat. <laughs> but I reckon he's getting established. 120 maybe? 140. 140. So we have two of these. And uh, this will get you into your Ultra Pied project. And you can see the pretty patterns on it, Jared, isn't it pretty? Got some lovely patterns on him. Look at the alien heads, They're really funky. And 100% head for pied. And eating well, he's had about 12 meals now. And I'll just come in on the back and see whether he'll let me support him. There we go. Isn't he beautiful? again available for anyone that wants to get into the ultra pie project if you show what colt looks like so people can see what they're shooting for and he's what two years old Jack? yeah this is what it'll look like for the rest of his life, most likely. Yeah, and you, you look how bright they are. I mean, they keep their colours. The Ultra Mel do well to keep their colours, and he is a beautiful boy. He's going to prove to be a very important part of our breeding this year. Got four or five girls we'd like to put him to, so hopefully he'll prove out some of our potential uh, pied girls that have got 66% het for. Uh, Ultra male, and we've got three of them, so hopefully one or two of them will prove out and we'll start to hit some more of these visuals. But a beautiful animal, but we've produced one that's guaranteed, the boys are guaranteed to have a pet before pied, so you can put that Ultra male into the pied project, knowing that that Ultra male will go through. Let's have a look and see, sticking with the Mojave Ultra males, we've got a couple of males here that are... Yeah, I think there's about four. Yeah, these are Mojave Ultra males that are really... Putting on some weight now, starting to look really chunky, Jared. See how pretty they are. And look how beautiful they are as animals, very similar. So these are going to be over 120 grams each. They've had, I think, about eight or nine mils each. Feed every week, and they're taking rat fluffs. And you should be able to weigh them, Jared. They should come in at a good size. 150. 150, very good. And. 115. 115. So one's a little bit more established than the other. Both of them will become available and they're doing really well on these LPO5s which are proven to be very very helpful to get these established. So we'll put those two back. There's and a couple of females as well. Sorry? There's a couple of females available as we well. We have got a couple of females so if you want to get into Mojave and we might even do a deal on a pair Jared as well because we've got two females here that are available. And you can see the females are very established. So here's a female ultra male. She's getting close to 150, I'd say. And there's a Mojave ultra male girl. Isn't she beautiful, Jared? Let's weigh her. See what she's coming in at. 128. 128. And 148. And 148. So they're both established and we've had about 12 meals each. Eating every week, rat fluffs, and it won't be long, Jared, before they're going up, going up to smaller, smaller wieners. But uh, we'll give it another six weeks or so, and uh, they should be good to go, and well established and doing really well. So, really happy with these two beautiful animals. So there are a couple of females that we could do a deal on some pairs if you want to get into Mojave Ultramel visuals. All of these will be going up onto Morph Market in the next couple of weeks. But That's right. We're going to get some pictures, but we thought we'd just want to get to them before. <laughs> we want to make them available to our viewers first, Jared, and then we'll put them out there. And got another beautiful male here. Look at this guy here. He's lovely as well. Ultramel. And uh, we'll be doing them for uh, good prices. And... Uh, it's a beautiful genetic. I'll just put that back. Right, let's see what else we've got here. We've got uh, 
Another Ultramel. Another Ultramel now. So yeah, there's quite, quite a lot of them. Yeah, so I think there's a lot of Mojave Het Ultramels and Het yeah. Ultramels as well. We've got a couple of breeder adults that we're making available, Chad. If you want to show those two down there, one of them's Mowgli. He's a pastel leopard, Het Clown, 50% Het Pied. Ready to go, male. Yeah. So that will get leopard into your Clown Pied projects. We've got a champagne pinstripe black pastel. Yeah. He's available. And they're both three really males. And then we've got a couple of boys, at least one boy over there, Jan. Yeah, and we've got this one here, which is a butter head clown. do it for now Jared. so we've got about uh, probably quite a few boys that are available if anybody wants to contact Jared on Instagram me on Facebook or you can leave a message on the YouTube channel please feel free to reach out to us if you have my whatsapp connection and there's anything in here that interests you please do send me a whatsapp and we'll be more than happy to uh, discuss a price for you and if you buy several boys we can give you a discount on that if you want to go with a pair we've got a couple of girls available too in there please feel free how much time do we have left, Jared? About eight minutes. We've got eight minutes left. So that leaves us just one opportunity to just talk about one of our girls from last year. And the one I was going to talk about, Jared, was uh, Pringle. Now, Pringle has given us a beautiful FNF line. She's an FNF line of uh, Calico. And let's have a little look at her. I'll bring her into the light. I'll bring her into the light. You can see that she's getting reconditioned. And you can see that she's uh, starting to put on more weight. She's taken four or five meals since she gave us that beautiful clutch, which we only had the one egg off. But that boy's doing well. And uh, we've just got to decide, Joe, where do we want to put this F and F line, and where would you want to get that line into? We've got so many different boys that we could put to her. I think my honest feeling is F and F line calicos are quite rare. There's not a lot of people that have them. What I want to do is I want to kind of move it into our collection a bit more. So it makes sense to put in uh, a high-end stud boy to her that's carrying a lot of genetics. And we want to get them into some of the recessive genes. So if we were to think about a possible pairing, Chad, what would you what would you like to see that F and F line calico going into? Probably Hercules. You think Hercules would be good? Pastel, Enchi, Leopard, Lesser, Heck Clown. With calico, so he's a clown. So that means that we'll end up with het clowns, but we'll have five, All those kind of. potentially five genetics and pastel and calico go well together, don't they, Jared? Yeah, I think it's a bubble gum. Plus nice. the enchi, he's carrying the enchi. So let's just bring out Hercules and see what um, he could do. So this is a potential. Um, so he's carrying the enchi, pastel, and the lesser. So I think on our short list, which I've got here. We'll put that down as possible possibility. I think out of all the snakes I can think of, he's got the ones that go best with calico. I think so. I think that might be a really good call, Jack. So let's just... Um, or even Apollo, you get the pastel orange green banana calicos. That's similar to what we've got up there, isn't it? Yeah, but I think we've actually... We've already done that pairing last yeah. year, Jack. So we don't want to repeat that. We've got, a, we've got the banana and calico going in together. So I think if we were to say... Hercules going into uh, Pringle that could give us the FNF line calico going into Clown Project but also that would give us all the other uh, incomplete dominance going in as well potentially five plus a recessive so I think that's exciting uh, prospect are there any other boys that we could uh, put into her as well that would bring in uh, if we wanted to get into the clown, if we wanted the FNF line to get into the clown pride project, we could try Dingo. Mm. And here's another possibility. He's carrying leopard and banana. But I think with calico, the more incomplete dominance is is where you're at. So this boy so. here could be a potential uh, boy going to her. And what's calico like with pied? Because 
will it be will it have an effect or will it just look yeah pretty drab yeah i think kind of could go as well in clown probably clown. better in clown than it does in pied i can imagine it good with exantic with ultramel with the colour changing ones, I can imagine it being quite cool. Do you think Exantic and Calico would go well together? Potentially, yeah. Could yeah. put Thor. Yeah. So yeah. I need to I need to look at it, but I can imagine the bright whites with the contrast of the yeah. dark blacks. So if Thor went in, what do you think what we'd get there? So you get both the pie and you would get I think Hercules is probably one of the best shout. The boy for her this year, because I think he's the one that's carrying all those extra jeans and I think we want to get as many jeans into the FNF line. And that means that if we produce the head clowns, we can then plug, say we produce a boy that's carrying, let's say we go for the multi-gene animal, let's say we hit an Enchi Calico Pastel, which that alone is beautiful, uh, that is head for clown, but also is carrying lesser and also carrying a leopard, because he's carrying leopard and lesser as well, then you'd end up with a multi-combo animal that's very powerful. And if it's a boy, you could then plug that boy into three or four girls, and if you plug them into various clown projects, you could plug them into various double uh, clown pie projects or even ultra male clown projects. So once you've got that boy that's carrying the clown and all those other genetics, you can then put them into other projects. And I think that's probably where a lot of people are going right now is they are trying to source uh, animals that will produce lots of incomplete dominance, the right mix of incomplete dominance. Um, I think we would like to get Exantic into that but we've got other options there because we are carrying a couple of exantic girls. Yeah. One of them's a bamboo and one of them's a Mojave. Um, but they are het for, I think they are 50% het for Ultramel. So, got to think forward on that. But I think that would be a really good pairing there, Jared. Um, have we got time for one more girl? No, two minutes. Two minutes, so we probably haven't got time for one more girl. I think we'll probably call that one a wrap on that side, Jared. What we have got is we have got a couple of beautiful snakes coming that we've sourced and I'll give a sh proper shout out to the breeder um, who's already got them up to 700 grams, two girls that are in the desert, Het Desert Ghost and Het Clown because what we found is we've got this lovely boy here that's really eating well and his name is Bozo. He's a pastel DG Het Clown boy. I would like to get a weight on Jared just to see how much he weighs. Maybe we'll finish on this one. But we haven't got any DG Clown girls. It's just under 400. So it's just under 400. So he could be ready in the next three to four months. Probably would be. Um, but the thing is, the girls that are coming are only 750 to 800 yeah. grams. So they're going to need a year, to be in all honesty. So what I've done here is I'm thinking ahead and thinking. I've got this beautiful boy, but now you've got to make sure your girls are coming up. And in this current market, Jad, it's amazing just how many girls are out there that are part of someone else's projects that they've spent two years building. And it's well worth, if you're looking to source girls that maybe need another year's development like we did last year, that then puts you into an opportunity to produce some uh, DG clowns. And uh, we've all got these babies coming up as well they're going to take two or three years and he'll go to them as well but we might be able to hit a male one so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video today do give us a shout out if you're interested in any boys and we'll see you next time bye for now